WhatsApp is getting picture-in-picture -picture mode for video calls on iOS? Let's talk about it. Welcome to Clean Tech, home of the technology news and reviews, and today we're going to be talking about a potential upcoming update from WhatsApp. Today's video is brought to you by Clean Phone. More on them at the end of the video. So as per the headline, WhatsApp is testing picture-in-picture -picture mode for video calls on iOS. The feature should let you minimize your video call while you open other apps, but it won't start rolling out to everyone until next year. Let's jump right in. WhatsApp is working on a picture-in-picture -picture mode for iOS that will let you open up other apps while on a video call. In a post on the WhatsApp blog, the company says the feature is currently in beta testing and that it will become widely available starting next year. And I'm sure it's going to be a breath of fresh air for all iOS users because us Android users in particular, yeah, no surprise, I use an Android. You know, we've had that freedom for, uh, well, so many years really and you know it, it's just such a blast like it's such a convenience to be able to like just minimize your video call in like a very small pop-up that just floats on top of your screen and you can go ahead and venture your way into other apps or games or whatever it is that you want to do while you stay connected on that video call the feature which WA Beta Info, WA being for WhatsApp, first spotted earlier this month should minimize your call while allowing you to access other apps. While some Android devices already let you use picture-in-picture -picture mode with certain apps, including WhatsApp, the messaging service doesn't support the iPhone's picture-in-picture -picture feature released in iOS 14. Uh, and that's simply because, you know, it's relevantly, uh, relatively new at this point on the uh, Apple ecosystem. Either way, it sounds like natively integrating the feature should come in handy when collaborating on a project during a video call, or maybe for browsing the web if you start getting bored. Some other smaller changes include waveforms that will now appear when people with their cameras turned off are speaking, along with banner notifications whenever someone joins a call. So. Um, more so like Google Meet, if you will, or you know, even partially like Zoom, uh, one could say. According to WA Beta Info, the platform's also working on expanding its view once feature uh, to regular text messages instead of only photos and videos. And so these are more or less smaller tweaks really um, in the realm of WhatsApp. They're not necessarily huge updates. They're not new features, at least uh, not from the perspective of an Android user. But yeah, definitely I believe that iOS users, Apple users, uh, they're gonna have a blast using this. And you know, it's something that you quite quickly get used to but yeah uh, if you ask me I say go for it you know it's tweaks like these that uh, just make the whole smart room uh, sorry smartphone experience you know that much more um, advanced if you will but yeah those are just some of my thoughts on it let me know yours down in the comment section below clean phone is the perfect phone for your kids because it allows you to manage everything on the phone remotely it has tons of amazing features such as easily allowing you to pick and choose which apps and games your child can use, provides you access to active phone monitoring including SMS and phone call usage, allows you to control how long and how often your kids can use apps or the internet. You can even check their call and SMS logs including inbound and outbound calls and messages and it is the perfect way to manage their screen time. Check them out in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching and you have a great day.